So the Giants have signed another former Green Bay Packer linebacker. They have signed Kyler Frackville to a $4.6 million deal, just a one-year deal. A lot of people are saying, who is this guy? So hopefully I can talk a little bit about that in this video. Some people are upset with this signing. I mean, I feel like Giants fans are always upset, to be honest with you. But let's talk about Frackville real quick here. So in 2018, two seasons ago, he had 10 and a half sacks. He started seven games. Last season, he had one sack, he started zero games, and that is because, you know, that Green Bay defense, it got better. Both the Smiths were brought in to play, and that's why he didn't see as many snaps. So hopefully, I think what the Giants are trying to do is get him some snaps so he can get back to that form when he was getting ten and a half sacks per game. Obviously, he's a guy who can rush the passer, but I still believe the Giants do need more help in that department. They need more pass rushers. I think they need one big pass rusher, maybe Clowney, let's see what happens. I don't really think it's going to happen, but that would be a good signing in my opinion if they didn't pay a crazy, crazy amount for him. I realize they're going to have to overpay for him. But another key thing to note about Frackle here is, like Blake Martinez, he played every game the past three seasons. He's another healthy player. And I think that's kind of underrated, signing guys who are reliable. Patrick Graham, who is the Giants offensive coordinator, used to be the Packers linebacker coach, so he knows how these guys play firsthand. So my thought is he thinks these guys are going to fit into his system that he's creating. So hopefully he'll be able to maximize all of their talents, everything they're good at, and make this defense really good again. I don't know if they're going to draft Isaiah Simmons now. How many linebackers are you going to have on this team? Brian Conley is coming back from injury. They also re-signed Mayo. So who, who knows what's going to happen? They might go offensive line. I'm not really sure, but yeah, more draft news to come. I'm going to do some more draft videos, and that's it for this one, guys. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace!